Hello Biotechnicians, welcome back again. Today I have come up with something interesting which is ACTREP JRF 2023 online exams for PhD in Life Sciences. The portal for application for applying for this online examination is open so you can go and start applying for it. So I'll be talking in detail of what is this ACTREP JRF examination going to be for your PhD. So ACTREP JRF 2023 online examination you can start applying and you can see the main purpose is for JRF so you can also register uh, in institution I'll be talking about so let's talk everything in detail so what is this application all about so Institute Advanced Center for Treatment Research and Education in Cancer which is ACTRIC it is actually an institute which is under Tata Memorial Center and it is also a grant and aid institute which is under Department of Atomic Energy. So you can join PhD in ACTREC actually and you can pursue as a JRF. The same applies and this ACTREC is going to conduct a PhD program in life sciences but this ACTREC is actually affiliated with a deemed university which is Homi Baba National Institute which means you can uh, you join your PhD over there so it is under MHRD so let's talk what is this about so you can join as a cancer research fellow so very specifically the studies will be based on tumor biology and also in cell proliferation differentiation apoptosis metastasis and carcinogenesis stem cell biology biochemistry cancer genomic genetics epigenetics pharmacology and therapy resistance so if you are one among them who really wanted to carry out your research in any of this cancer biology or cancer prevention and disease intervention then you can really go and and write this examination I'll be talking about the eligibility that you can uh, go for this examination first let's talk about who can apply for this one the qualification is going to be MSc MTech in any of these fields like applied biology biochemistry bioinformatics uh, biophysics biotechnology botany or life sciences or microbiology molecular biology zoology or any of the related biological sciences whether you are from MSc or MTech or even uh, masters in veterinary sciences and M farm people from any of the recognized university with a most important thing is greater than or equal to 55 percentage of your aggregate mark then you can apply for this examination if you clear this examination then you can actually pursue your PhD at ACTRIC okay those are waiting rest suppose if you are at the final year you can also apply suppose if you are at the final year of MSc then you can also apply as per the Homi Baba National Institute guidelines candidates who have less than 50 percentage of your aggregate mark then you will not be considered either for a return examination or for an interview or also for the admission in the PhD programs and there's an other criteria if you have uh, done a postgraduate of only one year if you have done only one year postgraduate then you are also not eligible to apply for this and all the final admission into PhD program will be based on HBNI eligibility criteria only and the next one how much is going to be the stipend yes the same applies here the stipend suppose if you are selected in the examination online examination there's going to be an interview and after that you can avail the fellowship as a JRF fellow so it's going to be 31,027 percentage of HRA every month and hostel facility is not actually opted and later after two years it will be upgraded to SRF based on the performance and the same applies for uh, contingency grant everything will be given uh, or local transport support every in-house medical facility everything will be given as previous cases everything then how is the application process yes the application process is going to be you have to go to uh, actric.government.in you have to go to this website even, and you can actually fill up your form for the online test examination and this incomplete if you make any mistake if it's not filled completely or if you have not paid the fees then the application will be rejected and I'm going to tell you the, how much is the fees going to be if you are a male candidate then the fees is going to be 750 and if you are a female candidate then it's going to be rupees 500 Suppose if you're belonging to SC, ST or OBC, then you have to attach the caste proof certificate. And then if you are physically handicapped candidates, you have to have a 40% disability. You have to upload your disability proof certificate also. 
एस सी एस टी ओ बी सी एंड डिसेबल पीपल आर एक्चुअली एग्जेमटेड फ्रॉम पेइंग एनी फीस सो यू डोंट हैव टू पे एनी फीस एंड एप्लीकेशन फीस विल नॉट बी रिफंडेबल एंड द डेड लाइन फॉर दिस एप्लीकेशन इज गोइंग टू बी नवंबर थर्टी सो यू ऑलमोस्ट हैव अ मंथ टू अप्लाई फॉर दिस एग्जामिनेशन सो देर आर सर्टन क्राइटेरिया फॉर पीपल हु आर नॉट you cannot you don't need to write this online examination but you can directly go for the interview that is the criteria which is also given here so let's talk about it when is going to be the online examination the examination you can see a list of eligible candidates will be displayed in the last week of december 2022 uh, it you can see who are all can eligible to go and write for this exam during the december month and the examination is going to be on january 8 2023 so make sure you apply it by 30th of october and the examination is going to be on january 8 2023 from 9 am to 12 noon in 10 examination center there are going to be 10 examination center in bangalore chennai delhi ncr guwahati hyderabad indore uh, kolkata mumbai pune and varanasi you have to choose three choices where you can go and write the examination if the first choice is not available then any of the two choices of the city will be assigned for you this is one of the criteria if you have not qualified any examination so you can apply for this one and you can write a entrance test and then you can go for the direct interview but there are people who have qualified some examination for those people you don't have to go and write this examination you can directly go for the direct interview so online application for actrec jrf 2023 is mandatory but you have to go directly for the interview so people if you have a very valid jrf fellowship either from csir or ugc or icmr or dbt or any recognized agency then you can directly go for the interview you don't have to go and write this uh, examinations as in the previous case that we have seen the next one people who have any external fellowship intimation that you have got by may 15 2023 you have to send a proof of that you got this award to the email uh, jrf2023 at actrec.government.in uh, to directly go for the interview actually people if you have qualified jg pills uh, then you are also eligible to directly go for the interview usually it will be shortlisted and it will be displayed on the actrec web website so you can also directly go for the interview you don't have to go and write the entrance examination conducted by them so these are exceptional cases for people who have qualified it the next one is going to be when is going to be the jrf interview or interview dates is going to be i told you have to apply for this one uh, by 30th of october and you will have the examination on january and when is going to be the interview so people who have qualified examination any of the national level examination along with this entrance test will be facing the direct interview so that interview you can see it will be usually on february month so you will be having this examination or the direct interview will be on february 2023 so during that period of time they will tell you who has been selected and all the result will be displayed in the actrec website after the interview is done and research project the list of the jrf project being offered to the phd students at actrec will also be intimated in june 2022 the, the process actually takes place by october but you will get your final result by june 2023 for all of you so you can just type on to actrec.gov.in and you will be redirected to this page this is the page that you're going to do an online application for the phd students so this is going to be the instructions are given here so make sure you read all the instruction here and then fill your personal information your educational qualification everything and then you submit the forms whichever has to be done and then submit and finally finish your application process so if you are one among them who are looking for some phd but you have not qualify examination then you can go for this entrance test so make sure you are applying it before 30th of uh, october and your examination will be on january and your interviews will be usually by your february and all the process will be completed by june suppose if you have qualified your examination you can directly go for the interview but you have to apply through their portal so today i was talking about an important thing for all of you so make sure you use of this opportunity and you grab up this one so thank you all of you for your time and i'm going to meet you back again with at another useful video thank you all of you